What's good, y'all? It's Bones. I hope you caught part one of my ribeye roast video. This is part two. Uh, it's probably my favorite part. This is how you uh, take the remaining amounts of your ribeye roast and make these like delicious ribeyes, the best you probably ever had. And uh, also in here, you're gonna learn how to do a bone marrow compound butter. I'm telling you, you're never gonna cook your steaks the same after this. Let's do it. After making my cheesesteak, which you can see in the link in the description, the video for that, I had about three pounds left of a New York strip. So of course that's gonna give me three nice thick one pounder steaks. What I did was I scored the fat so I can kind of, you know, look at it and gauge how thick I wanted my steaks to be and make sure they were even. You don't have to cut them even, you can do them any size you want. This is the first step of your compound butter. You wanna get some uh, beef bones that has the marrow exposed, throw a little bit of olive oil on them and put them inside of a hot cast iron skillet just until, you know, that bone marrow gets gelatinous and it's pretty easy to scoop out. Just scoop it out and um, throw it on a cast iron skillet. You're gonna notice when you put it on a cast iron skillet that it's gonna start rendering down and creating like an oil. That stuff is like liquid gold and you're gonna use that oil to cook your steak in. And let that bone marrow keep on cooking down until it, you know, until it browns and then set it aside. Now get yourself some softened butter, you know, just throw a stick of butter in the microwave until it gets soft. Put the bone marrow in there, add some garlic, some thyme, and some rosemary. Then you wanna lay out some saran wrap, pour out your mixture onto the saran wrap, and start rolling into a little log. Once you have it rolled up all the way, grab the ends and twist. Then just put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, maybe two. So you might wanna do this in advance. I kept it simple with my steak seasoning because there's so much flavors in my compound butter. I just use, you know, coarse salt and coarse black pepper. That's it. Tossed it in a piping hot cast iron skillet with that rendered down bone marrow and, you know, a little bit of oil and butter. And you can see it made a beautiful crust. And this is what you want to go for. I cut four little medallions off of my compound butter. I put two on the bottom of the pan that the steak is going to go on top of. And then I top the steak with the compound butter. Go ahead and make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees and get your steak cooked to any temperature that you like. I like medium rare, so I let it go until about 130 and it was so beautiful. The meat was so delicate, tender, buttery, herbal. It had just enough salt, just enough pepper. And I mean, I can't even explain to you how good it was. So go and do it yourself. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.